So for session three, we're going to focus on the front end of the drive phase. So we've spoken about maximum acceleration, we've spoken about rhythm, we're now looking at maybe some of the smaller elements of what might happen at the front end of the drive phase. It's really important that we catch the boat at the right time. It's a timing thing. So we're going to need to take into account the level of the rower and we're going to need to speak to them about what they're trying to achieve and whether they've got good timing at the front end. If we can put our blade in as if we're feeling it's going a little bit towards the bow ball, then we're likely to create what we call V-splash. A little bit of splash off the front of the blade, a little bit of splash off the back of the blade. And that means that we're putting the blade in in exactly the right spot. It's like posting an envelope. There's only one slot for the blade to fall into. And we're looking for that slot while we're timing our body movement at the front end. If we can grip up uh, without moving our slide, blade placed, locked in, so that we've got good suspension on the boat, we've started to grip it, then we've got a good chance of bending the blade at the front end. If we pull on the blade handle, we're going to slow it down, the boat down. So we need to leave the blade handle alone a little bit so that we can create good tension. So we're going to hang off it like a bar and we're going to start to bend the blade. I once sculled for about 20k on a lake rotating near the American uh, heavyweight men's eight. And I heard the cox just say one thing for 20k. Bend that bastard. What we're trying to do at the front end is create tension so we can bend the blade before we start our very dynamic drive phase and get the acceleration. I think at the front end it's also really important that we stay sitting on our seat. So we need to be very controlled, we need the weight on our foot plate but we're still sitting on our seat for that front end movement. Once the blade's in the water with a little bit of V-splash, we're going to leave it out there for a, a small amount of time so that we make sure we're connected to the boat and then we're going to initiate the leg press. So it's the legs that are going to initiate the drive phase and I'm hoping that you'll be able to see some footage from around the world or what I might demonstrate and it looks like a leg press. It's moving in, grip it and then leg press out. And that's the first part of the drive phase before we start to open our backs up. It's really important that we leave our shoulders over for a little bit of time, leave the blade out there for a little bit of time so we're hanging off it so we can initiate the drive phase with our legs. Our legs are the most powerful part of our body in terms of uh, driving things, uh, but they take a little bit of time to start to fire. The lucky thing about that is that we can give ourselves a little bit of time at the front end because we're trying to gather the boat. Now as you move into elite level, that time will decrease. You will get the boat very, very quickly and you can rate 40 uh, or whatever it might be and you can do it really effectively. But as we move through from beginner stage through to elite stage, that action is going to take a little bit more time. But it's really important that we get that action, that we've gripped the boat before we push, otherwise we're going to start to push it the wrong way. If we start to push before we've gripped our blade, we push the boat the wrong way. So we're going to focus on as many things as we can to grip the blade, good timing at the front end, seat stays up at the front end, and we initiate with our legs to get ourselves off that catch position uh, with uh, maximum power but with all our body in the right position so that we can open it up later in the stroke and we've got crucially we've got hold of the boat so any movement that we make makes the boat go faster let's go and have a look so session three the first exercise that we could do to help us with our front end of the stroke is for us to sit at the front end and practice placing our blades towards the bow ball and creating a little bit of V-splash. The idea here is that we make it sound like dropping a medium-sized stone into the water. We can practice that movement till the cows come home, and we can try to do it with a straight arm and a sculling boat, so we're doing it from the shoulder. The other exercise that we can do, a second exercise for the front end, it's a little bit controversial because it doesn't always teach the right things, but it's the uh, classic one that people enjoy, which is coming to the front end, putting our blades in the water, pressing hard on our legs with our lats low down and, and holding our body position. We push hard with our legs and that has the effect of lift, lifting us off the seat. Now remember at the front end, we do need to stay sitting on our seat. But this exercise is really good fun 
and it uh, helps us understand that idea of suspension of the front end. We keep our body positions in place, push hard with our legs, and that will bring us up off the footplate.